Hello everyone, my name is Kwan Nguyen. Today's topic is custom geometry. What is custom geometry? As you know, uh, 3GS library has a lot of built-in geometry like cube geometry, sphere geometry, torus geometry. Custom geometry is a geometry that we build from scratch. Uh, in this video, we will explore or dive in into more detail uh, of one the geometry, namely the cube geometry. We can uh, transform those uh, cube geometry into different shapes like create a terrain. Once you understand the concept, what is made of uh, the cube geometry, it's easy to understand how to create the custom geometry from scratch. So we will build the cube uh, geometry from scratch in this video. On the right side here is the cube geometry drawn by 3GS. What does the cube geometry consist of? If you look at on the left side here, this is a model of the cube. The cube basically have six face and had eight vertices. So if you look at the model right down here, here is vertex six and here vertex zero, vertex two and here vertex seven. Here vertex 4 and vertex 1. We can change the position of the vertex so the cube has different shape. So it is essential that you understand uh, the model of the cube here. Each square face here normally consists with two triangles. As you know, uh, WebGL really have triangle uh, doesn't have does not have a square to build a square uh, basically you create two triangle to get stitch it together uh, this is a script that generate this uh, cube right down here so I do assume you understand uh, how to create it uh, equip geometry the grid uh, this is the grid and this is the control so I can maneuver around with my mouse so I can see different angle of the cube these are very typical step uh, in uh, 3GS script which I will not go into detail I assume you understand this and here uh, is our geometry. Here we create a geometry with uh, 0.2 per side and we give mesh normal materials. So that's why you see those color. And we create a mesh and we add a scene. It's a very simple script. This should be our starting script. So next, uh, we will change the position of those vertices. So you can, so you're gonna see the keep shape will be changed. I just that add in this line. Uh, these are commented out so you can see the vertex of the cube. In this command, I say the cube geometry vertex. Okay, zero zero mean the vertex zero right down here. And I say I'm gonna change the y direction uh, minus one. So this is vertex zero right down here. So if I execute this uh, command right down here, you can see this vertex here move down by point one. So I save it, refresh. You can see that this vertex zero used to be up here and move down point one because I tell them so. So if I want to move this vertex down equally to this one, so this vertex is V1. So I can copy this one, say one. So I change the, 
basic the line v0 v1 down so control save it and you can see down so this one vec v0 vertex 0 vertex 1 let's say if i add 1 you're gonna see that it this gonna go up down here you see that so this is how you change the geometry vertice of an existing crib. Now, uh, if I want to change this crib into a tri 3D triangle, what should I do? No? I can move this edge up right down here. So this edge is vector vertex 2 and vertex 3 vertex 2 and vertex 3 so I just copy these two lines and vertex 2 so I should put 2 in here and 3 in here and I move up so I'm gonna put a plus sign in there save it if I run it this edge gonna be the same with that edge now, see that I have the three triangle. So I transform the cube into a triangle. Next, uh, we we use other cube geometry to create a terrain. Instead of using the cube geometry, this. I change like this. The first three here still x, y, z, and the last three is the number vertex. So if I do like that, you, on the right side you can see that there's a lot of vertex. Here I'm showing sure the material y frame equal true. I put in color blue. Now we want to manipulate those vertex. If you zoom closely, there's a lot of triangle here. And the last one, we just loop one by one vertex. If you have a thousand of vertices, that's impossible to do. So we create a loop. First, we find the number of vertices within within that geometry. Then we loop it on this equation here. Say, hey, I, uh, if the position of the vertex is bigger than zero, remember that uh, that the creep half the vertex is above have a positive y and have to have negative y so I will only change the party size one and here I only want to change certain vertex otherwise a lot of vertex will raise this is a new position so I change the y position of the vertex here so here if I run it you can see like that Those vertex have been raised. Now, if I put one, which never happened, so it can be flat like that. If I put zero one, zero two, you're gonna see a lot of vertex has been raised like this. So I put 98. This is one way that you can create a terrain. I want to use a normal mesh material.
So far, we have discussed about the geometry vertex and we change the vertex to get the terrain. Now, on the geometry downslope sort of phase, okay, for the creep, uh, there are six faces right down here, six square faces, but each square face has two triangles. So, if you do the geometry phase, you will have a 12 objects. So here we use normal mesh, and here we do a custom color for the side of the cube. For the now the ordering of the face is very important. Uh, this is the way 3GS code okay, for the cube here. For the front, you will have the face 8 and 9, which make up the square here. 8 and 9 basically is vector 0, vector 2, vector 6, vector 7. So this uh, vertex make up the front face. And the order of that index is 8 and 9. Similarly, on the right side down here, you have uh, the face index 0 and 1. If you want to change the color of the right face, you have to choose 0 and 1. Now, here we loop the, for the cheery face, there are going to be 12 of them. And for each of them, we set the same color. Okay, so you can see. The color repeating uh, red, green, blue, red, green, blue, red, everywhere. Now, suppose you we want to change some color that we like on the front block right down here. Let's see. This front face right down here on the front, we have 8 and 9, right? Let's say we add some command in. Let's say if i equal 9. Okay, then we change the vertex a little bit, we change to yellow. So this is egg, see triangle egg here, triangle nine here, this one gonna be uh, yellow. Save this one. See this is gonna be yellow. Even on the top one, let's say we change to egg. So if we want, let's say on this right side right here, so this one on the right side zero and one, let's say zero. System kind of slow. Here you see that is yellow. Similar one, you get the bottom triangle. For the top one, four and five, let's see, let's see, let's copy this guy. Four and five. So the top will be totally yellow. So far on this video, we use the cube geometry and we change the cube uh, vertex to different shape. And also we change the color with the geometry face. So if you under understand this structure, then on the next video we start, start from scratch uh, how to build the custom geometry. See you in the next video.